My name is Kenneth Tigari and I'm still on conditional formatting in Excel. I remember this session is Excel 2010. Now uh, over here I'm going to work with the highlight cell rules and I'm going to work with between and equal to. So let's start. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to highlight this range of cells, this array of cells. I come over to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, I go over to between. So let's say I want values occurring between uh, 5 and 15. Uh, I'll leave this in the, at the default, let's say red text. Okay, so here we have values occurring between 5 and 15. I refresh. And there we go. So you can see the values occurring between 5 and 15 being highlighted here. Now let me go back in here and clear the formatting. I go over here to clear rules. Clear rule from entire shit. I uh, highlight this range again. Right, I paused the video for a while, so I'm back now. Um, okay, I want to um, identify cells that are equal to a certain value using the highlight cell rules here. So I come over to equal to, let's say equal to 10. And let's choose red border, but that's not strong enough. Let's use custom format. And let's use um, fill yellow so okay so we can see here that it's only one value that's equal to 10 let's try refresh oh over here now there are five values that are equal to 10 great so uh, we've um, basically gone through uh, conditional formatting using the between um, between um, type of conditional formatting and the equal to kind of conditional formatting. In the next video, I will be taking us through the other types, that's text that contains a date occurring, duplicate value, kind of um, conditional formatting. Then after that, we go over to top bottom rules of conditional formatting. I'll see you later then. Bye-bye.